another book review written by Murphy here. Murphy Daily here with the book review of Sarah J. Moss. Her book, A Court of A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is from 2015, and this this woman can totally write books because it's the beginning of a series. I think there are five. So this is the beginning of the series. It is fantasy. It's a court of thorns and roses. It's about fairies. No dragons, but fairies. So this is fantasy. I had um, dipped into the mystery genre and I thought, you know, a little genre fiction would be fun. So some more fantasy. And I want to just uh, go live in a world. Now, this is a female heroine. And just like Katniss in Hunger Games, she has a bow and an arrow. Um, and just like almost every single female of any book anywhere, she's saving her family. But she's also falling in love at the same time and oh my gosh it's good okay i'm not i'm not making fun of it really because it is a good book i enjoyed it i'm probably i would definitely read the rest of them the time comes it's kind of sexy the um heroine was a bad guy but i'm sorry the hero was a bad guy but he's a good guy and there's a spell that has to be broken and and like mysterious things and Ooh, so it's very interesting and um, because this um, definitely right at the beginning I'm like oh this is Beauty and the Beast this is Beauty and the Beast because she the heroine Feyre lives in a world where the fairies are rumored to be evil and long ago about 500 years ago, some uh, pact is reached between the fairies and the humans, and there were these rules, and and um, they did not live um, at peace. They were at at war, and then um, the fairies. Part of the pact was the fairies were not allowed to enslave humans. So, if the t entire history of your life and you know 500 years of your history has to do with saying well it had to be illegal for fairies to uh, not enslave you i wouldn't feel very comfortable around fairies at that point hmm. so that's the very beginning that's kind of the backstory of the world they live in but somebody had to take care of her family and she had to all these things right so it was it was great the fairy that gets involved to Mm. intrigue, drama, secrets, and um, romance. Ooh. Mm. Also, some, um, there was kind of like this, this, there was a super evil fairy. So there was like the first evil fairy, which of course didn't turn out to be so evil, but then another deeper evil fairy. And, uh, you know, that deeper evil fairy was like, bad person and uh, she did things like torture and stuff so this kind of that dark tinge nasty of course it's bad it's bad but uh huh. but you know if you like that kind of gory nasty scary situation it was good so sarah rode on the coattails of what i was seeing beauty and the beast rode on the coattails of just a little bit hunger games totally different story from hunger games because this is not so much political not so much. Um, and she she made it. She wrapped it up in the right kind of um, feminine priorities. Every story is the is a, a, with a woman hero has to do with her saving her family in some way. So she wrapped it up in that. But there was romance. And it was great. So I enjoyed it. I could read it some more. I could recommend it. And, oh my gosh, she wrote this one in 2015. Maybe she, well, she published it in 2015. I wonder if she waited till she was pretty much done with all 
God, how many of us? A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, A Court of Frost and Starlight, um, A Court of Silver Flames. Did she write all those before she published the first one? Because these just came bam, 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 bam. So good for her. Good for her. I think I'd read some other things by her too. So I've, I've enjoyed her, um, her writing before. This is my book review of the fantasy genre. The author, Sarah J. Moss, M-A-A-S, Moss, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I enjoyed her world building. It wasn't um, a new world. I mean, it was her new world, but it's like she borrowed from some really good sources. So well done. Wow. She even translated it. Good Lord. She's got it translated into 5 million languages. <laughs> good for her. Way to go, Sarah. All right. That's my review. What do you think? Have you read it? Would you want to read it? Is what I'm talking about making sense? Let me know. Let's keep the conversation going. <laughs>